Hey, good morning, everybody, and welcome to another Mortgage Coach Tuesday call. My name is Dave Savage. I'm the CEO of Mortgage Coach. Welcome to our Tuesday call. I also have on today's call as my co-host, Mr. Anthony Savala. Anthony is our national account director and also national trainer. Anthony, welcome to the call, brother. Hey, Dave. It's a pleasure to be here. Hey, Mortgage Coach community. It's a great day to be in the mortgage business. Excited to provide value today. All right. So I want to remind everybody, if you haven't already, make sure you are subscribing to our YouTube channel. This call is being recorded. It will be posted in our YouTube channel. I mean, we've got over 1,000 videos in here. We've had over 120,000 views. Literally, just over the past 30 days, we've have, had over 50 people, excuse me, over 7,000 of these videos watched. So make sure you are subscribing to this if you haven't already. So as our special guest today, we have Mr. Marty Preston with Benchmark Mortgage. Marty, welcome to the call, my friend. Thanks for having me, Dave. It's a pleasure to be on here. I've uh, been a user for a long time and known you for a long time. Happy to help out. Well, it's, it's really exciting to get a chance to interview you. I have wanted to interview you for years, and we got to connect at Sales Mastery. Uh, you delivered tremendous leadership at Sales Mastery, and I had a lot of people tell me I need to interview you. And just from the preparation that we've had, I can tell that this is going to be a lot of value for everybody in the, in the mortgage coach community. So um, before we bring Marty in, I want to just do a couple debriefs on my call last Tuesday with Jen. So one thing that Jen and Marty have in common is they're two superstar mortgage professionals. They're amazing teachers. Uh, I love some of the things that Jen said last week, just talking about how you know, she's not a salesperson. She's a, she's a teacher and an educator. Uh, this is a, a picture of Jen meeting with one of her, her clients. And I think one of the things you guys have in common is you both like to get meet and meet with folks. So, Marty, in your case, what percentage of the time are you meeting with people in person? I'm meeting with people 90% of the time would be a, a realistic number. We certainly have some clients who, you know, can't make it into the office who are local. Most of the time, the only time I will not meet with a client is if they're moving in from out of state. And oftentimes, I'll even meet with them while they're in the area looking at home. So 90% uh, of the time I'm meeting face to face. Beautiful. And that was the same answer Jen gave me. Uh, I know I think you're driving a much higher percentage into your in-office experience. So that's what this call is going to be about. And Jen is driving everybody into just a knee to knee in-person meeting. Uh, I do want to shine a light. She was kind enough to share her mortgage planning questionnaire. So that was available to everybody in last week's call. If you did not download Jen's uh, mortgage planning questionnaire or her perfect loan process, uh, those links are available in the recording of her call, um, or you can email uh, our support team at support at mortgagecoach.com. But I do want to make sure that you guys got it because we really broke down her, her process, the questions that she asked before she meets with the family, the you know the step-by-step -step checklist that she goes through. It was fantastic. I also asked Jen, and I'm going to be asking you, Marty, the same question, but when it comes to teaching your realtors how to refer you, you know, what are some of the things that you tell your realtors to position you as a mortgage coach, and what are some of the ways that you, you get your realtors to help refer you so that by the time they refer a family to you, they are just, they, they know they're not just meeting the loan officer, they're meeting with a professional that can help them with a total cost analysis that shows them how to build wealth um, with real estate by picking the right mortgage. So Jen gave us a great script, and, and we're going to hopefully get one out of you, Marty. Uh, so so let's, bring, let's, let's bring Marty into the conversation. Uh, you know, uh, to set the table, Marty is, is not a salesperson. Marty is an educator, a teacher of borrowers and realtors. Average experience is a fee worksheet. So every loan officer out there is providing these transactional details. Marty is a mortgage coach. Every time he's meeting with a family, he's delivering charts, graphs. He's helping them understand their experience. And Marty is someone that you know really believes in this concept of you know from Dave Ramsey, where it's all relationships start with understanding the family's concerns and their goals, and then providing a total cost analysis to show them how they're going to achieve their goals. So so for everybody that's on this call, if you have not been on a Mortgage Coach Tuesday call. This quote from Dave Ramsey about always starting with your goals and then using the total cost to show them how to hit their goals. 
make sure you write that down. Make sure you're living and breathing that from a conceptual basis. So, so Marty, um, you know, you you've got a, By the way, you've got a great LinkedIn presence. You know, anybody that would search for you online, although I know you're very much this knee to knee, let's get personal with everybody. You have taken some intention around your LinkedIn profile and around your overall online presence. Um, if you could, you know, do two things. One, tell us a little bit about your mortgage practice, your production level, but we're going to spend so much of the call talking about what it looks like to be in your office. I would like just a little bit of color around your, you know, your intentionality around your online experience. Sure, absolutely. So a uh, little bit about, about my office. Um, we're, uh, we have 21 total staff members, eight loan officers here in the office. Uh, much, much of that is uh, production partners and things like that that assist in, in production. Um, as of August 31st is the last numbers I got for Sales Mastery, we were at 132 million. That averages 16 and a half million a month. I'm in Lexington, Kentucky. Lexington only has about 300,000 people. Um, our immediate market is only about 500,000, which includes some surrounding counties. Uh, our average loan size is $179,000. We're doing, uh, we're averaging about 11 units per LO. 86% of that is purchase, 54% conventional, 38% uh, government, 8% jumbo. So I just wanted to give that out there so people kind of understood where we were, where we were, and uh, and how they would compare. My personal production, my average loan size is 312,000, and that's simply because, much like you, when I got started, my background was in accounting, so I was more successful catering to CPAs and financial advisors early on than I was to realtors. Um, so I was able to, to increase my loan size by doing that. Uh, we've done 185 units through October as a team, and that's right at $58 million. My personal team, I have an executive assistant, Tammy, who is uh, awesome. You've talked to her. And I have two production partners, Melissa and Sharon. Melissa handles everything. She's really a loan officer. I bring in the business, but she handles everything from contact to contract, and Sharon handles everything from contract to close. And then we have a business development manager on the team, CJ Cunningham. He helps my team as well as other people in the office. So that's kind of a, a breakdown. Uh, we hired uh, Katie Jones, who is a business development manager as well, and she is the one that's responsible for the LinkedIn presence, Facebook, and all that. She, uh, I, I do not do a great job with that, but uh, she's been a phenomenal asset in making sure that when people do search us and look for us that uh, that they find the right things. And then uh, she's actually, if we get into it, part of my presentation, one of the things that we do is uh, we encourage people to post things uh, about us, which is, and show pictures of things that we're sending them. It's been a big part of our customer service piece, and it's been a, uh, a huge boost to, uh, to in process referrals and past client referrals as well. Well, you, you, you do a great job. I haven't had the honor of going into your office and seeing that experience, but between the picture that you sent me and what I can gather from watching you online, it's a it's an amazing in person office experience. And we're gonna we're gonna paint that picture in greater detail in just a minute. But I, I did want to give kudos. So whoever on your team is in charge of your online experience, I mean they're doing a really nice job. I mean a great family picture that just, you know, makes you feel like I, I know you, I like you, I trust you, and everything that, that I touch online, it just says Marty Preston is a professional, you know, and an absolute, you know, beacon of, you know, leadership in his community. So, great job on that. So, so now, Marty, I, I just know from the talk that we've had, you know, we, we're going to get tactical and we're going to get into specifics around what your in-office bar experience looks like. But I know how important it is that you kind of have a big why, and you've got some, you know, kind of strategic perspective around that. So if you could talk about, you know, your your why, I'd like to at some point roll that into your mortgage coach why, and then after we've we've really vetted that out for everybody, we'll get into some of the tactics that you're using as you uh, educate families that come into your office. Yeah. So you know, my mortgage coach why and my uh, 
my why is kind of the same, and, and I, I spoke about this at Mastery a good bit, and, and what happened was is, is I, for, for a lot of years, I was kind of the guy that had 10 years of, of experience, but I really had one year of experience 10 different times uh, because it was just the path of least resistance. I started out as a broker. Um, we had lenders that were low cost options. We had lenders that were high service options, and I would tend to go to the high service option but if you wanted the lowest rate, I wasn't at all hesitant to say, send me over your loan estimate and, uh, and I'll make sure that we put a proposal together and beat it. And eventually I got really frustrated with that. I told the story about losing the loan to one of my loan officer's younger brothers who literally was working at a landscaping company two weeks earlier at my house. And I'd been doing this, you know, 12 years and had a background as an accountant and advanced degrees and all this and here I lose this loan and it, it really started making me think about you know are, are, am I just a mortgage salesman or am I a professional advisor and I felt like that I provided a lot of advice to clients you know whether it was helping them structure their loan the right way with mortgage insurance or not or whether it was helping them understand to put more money down or less money down based on where the money was coming from and whether it was coming from a a qualified account or non-qualified accounts and I would put a lot of time in studying that and, and and learning from Jim McMahon and other people how to be a you know a, a true advisor and so it was frustrating that I was getting beat up over price and that's when I realized it, it was really my job to show and explain the difference to people because the consumer just doesn't know I mean I, I, I think most people if they understood that yes they're going to pay an eighth or a quarter of a percent more but they're going to get great advice on the things that we just discussed I think most people will choose to do that especially when they understand how much that equates to in dollars so one of the questions that I put in my presentation was if I were able to lower your rate from four percent to three point seven five how big of an impact do you think that would have on your monthly payment and what I learned by asking that question is most people are three, four, five times more than it actually is. So that's one of the reasons that they're, they're more hung up on rate. So when I started creating my presentation and, and trying to come up with a way that I could consistently provide great advice, great service, and great value to the clients, Mortgage Coach became just an, a very obvious, simple piece to that because it's so professionally laid out and there was no way I could go and create anything better. Um, you know, there's there's nothing out there that shows people their options in a more professional way than the mortgage coach. So the first part of my presentation is helping people understand rates and mar the first part is understanding what their goals are. The second part is understanding, helping them understand rates and loan level pricing adjustments and market volatility and all that. The third part is a financial interview to determine what their liquid assets are, what their high cost non-preferred debt is, what their long-term assets are, and then we use the mortgage coach to show them that solution. So just like the, uh, the slide of Dave Ramsey, you know, you have to learn what it is that they're looking for and then you can use the total cost analysis to show them the solution to it and then the follow-up the end of my presentation are the questions that I always wanted to know is you know how did the meeting go how do you feel and and some things like that so the, the why to the presentation that I created was it was a way to show consumers consistently how we are different than everyone else and the mortgage coach why is the same because it's just a great way you know just like comparing a, a a loan estimate to a total cost analysis there's no comparison it's just a natural transition to you know I'm trying to show them at every step of the process that we're different we're better uh, for them than anyone else so uh, it's a big deal to me I don't like the idea of um, of just selling a product and, and being compared based on price you know I think a great attorney can charge two thousand dollars an hour while some people struggle to charge some attorneys struggle to charge twenty dollars an hour great financial advisors can charge ten thousand dollars for a, a fee-based financial plan while others are giving them away 
I don't see that there's any difference. A great mortgage planner, although our pricing and everything is set, our great mortgage planner can earn more money by providing such great value that I want, even though my rates and everything are set, I want the consumer to leave there feeling like they got so much more than just a loan that they feel compelled to tell other people about our process and that's how I can earn more money. I don't charge them more or anything else like that, but if I can, if I can create an environment where the client leaves and they just feel compelled to tell the realtor or the financial advisor or the CPA that referred them to me how great that went, then that's going to make them refer me more business. And then if they can post on social media how great it went, include photos or whatever, that's going to, that's going to lead to us doing more business, less marketing, more profits and all that. So that's, uh, that's the main why behind all this. Well, those are, that's a powerful, powerful thought. So I want everybody on this call to think about this. And again, I'm not here to advocate that every mortgage professional should be bringing people into their office or meeting me to me. I interview the best of the best in this industry, and I've interviewed some amazing loan officers that are meeting with 100% of their clients over the phone and Internet, and they're crushing it. Uh, but this is how Marty Preston does it, and, and no one does it better. I mean, there are other great mortgage professional in-office experiences, but this is one of the best in the industry. So I do want to push a poll question. I want to know, everybody on this call right now, what per, you know, what, how often are you meeting with clients knee-to-knee, face-to-face, never, 20% of the time? I want to get a feel for where you're at right now. And by the way, anybody who comes to my Tuesday calls knows that I don't come off this poll question until 70% of you have voted and only 40% of you have so far. So I need 70% participation so that we can move into the content. Please vote. Let us know how often are you meeting me to me with families, with borrowers that are borrowing money. They're getting into mortgage debt. How often are you meeting with them me to me? So I also want to make sure we roll, really pull out that question. Uh, and by the way, here are the results, everybody. Um, I, by the way, they're kind of surprising to me with just how many people are meeting me to me. To me. 18%, almost 20% are like you, Marty, 100% of the time practically. Uh, 31%, so 40% of the people on this call are more than 50%. Uh, very few are never. So, you know, really for everybody on this call, having a great in-person, in-office experience is of huge value. So I also, whether you meet with families in person or not, I want to make sure you, you, you wrote down something I wrote down, which was that question that Marty asked a family. How much impact do you think lowering your rate by a quarter percent will have on your monthly payment? Marty made the point that most families think that it's about three to five times more than an impact that it really is. So, so I don't think that most loan officers have that as part of their perfect process. Uh, I think that's a really powerful takeaway, Marty. You know, thank you. Any, any color you want to put around that? before we move on in terms of just questions that you ask that really set the table for advice that you provide. Any more color on that? Well, I will say, so initially when I first created my presentation, it was about two, two and a half, three years ago, and it was a presentation. It was just talking points that I talked through with the client. And then last November, I got really clear on the best way is to ask questions as opposed to telling them everything. So, for example, what you're looking at on the screen, how can you get me the lowest rate? I used to I used to tell them how I could get them the lowest rate, and instead, it you know, now I would say, you know, what, you know, people will ask the question, how can you get me the lowest rate? And I'll say, is that something that you're concerned with? Is that something you would like to know? And of course, they'll say yes. So, the whole presentation is designed and and if you'll notice at the bottom right there, there's a, there's a question mark at every question I'm supposed to ask. So I won't go through this slide, but it's loan level pricing adjustments. And you can see at the bottom it says, under, understanding the impact of loan level pricing adjustments on rates, if you were a sales manager at ABC Bank, how would you teach your staff to answer the question, what is your rate today? And by asking the question, it causes the consumer, instead of you telling them, you know, I could say, I think a lot of companies are just quoting you the lowest rate that's out there instead of actually giving you a rate that's accurate. 
but it makes a huge difference when you ask them how they would do it and they go, well, I don't know, I guess I guess I would tell them that, you know, until we have more information from them, we couldn't give them an accurate answer. And then that explains to them a, a lot of why we're doing what we're doing, and it also discredits anyone that they call after that who gives them a rate immediately. And I didn't say it. They said it by me asking the question. So just sometimes asking the right questions, and I'm sure over time I'll I'll change these and get a lot of great questions from a lot of great people that are on this call, but uh, one of the things that I think that's made a huge improvement in the way that people take the the presentation is is being able to ask those questions. So certainly, you know, lowering your rate a quarter of a percent is one of them. Another one is if you were managing a bank, how would you uh, you do it? So uh, it, it makes a big difference when they're saying it versus you're saying it, plus it makes them think about how they would actually handle that. I love it. I love it. So one thing that's pretty clear to me, and again, I've, I've, I've heard from Marty, I've seen him on stage, I've spoken to him, and I think it's safe to say that any family that meets with Marty, when you, when you take, you know, any, any family that owns a home, they've, they've met with life insurance agents. Many of them have met with CPAs, they've met with financial planners, they've met with realtors, they've met with other mortgage professionals. So they've had, they've had, let's just call it a lot of personal financial planning meetings and conversations. When they meet with Marty Preston, it is something they'll never forget. It's a star moment, something they'll never forget because it's, if it's not the best financial personal planning conversation they've ever had, it's, it's definitely one of the top two. And I, my guess is, most of the families you meet, it is the number one best mortgage planning experience, or not mortgage planning, financial planning experience they've ever had. You know, you're beating the CPA, you're beating the financial planner, you're beating the realtor, you are really positioning yourself as the captain of the wealth team. You know, when a family looks at building wealth through real estate, you are the man. I mean, is that, is that fair, to, is that the game you're playing, and do you feel that you achieve that with 90% of your families? Well, it's definitely the goal. I mean, the goal is, you know, I look at this as every time a client comes in, that's my chance to perform. So that's game day, Monday night football, whatever you want to, you know, we're, we're on stage, whatever whatever you want to say, that's, that's my time. I'm on. Um, my role on the team is to nail that performance. You know, I, my production partner, Melissa, she takes most of the applications. She does the review. She sets everything up. My job is to nail this performance and do so, do it in a way to where when they leave there, you know, again, they're compelled to talk about us in a positive way. Um, one of the things that, that this really helps with, and uh, one of the things we'll, we'll probably touch on this a little bit later, though, is, you know, if you can take pieces of this and show it to your realtor, show it to your financial advisor, show it to your CPAs, um, and they realize, wait a second, you know, that's a better performance than I'm giving, well, that a lot of times that's a win-win because number one, they're going to refer people to you. Number two, they're going to want to have conversations with you about how they can kind of incorporate some of the things that you're doing into their presentation. And if you help them with that, then you know, you're helping them with their business, which in turn uh, leads to more referrals from my experience. So um, you know, it's a great, great thing to, uh, to share with, with partners uh, so they can see firsthand what you're doing, uh, I always said the best way I could get a realtor was to do a loan for them. You know, if I could just get the realtor to let me do their personal loan, then I felt like I could I could certainly get their business because they would go through our process and they would see firsthand the differences between us and, and the people that they're working with currently. Um, anything short of that is us trying to show them what we're doing for their clients. So my best sales approach is to have the the prospective partner come into my office and show them a total cost analysis and walk them through our presentation. Love it, love it. So let's do this. A uh, couple things, as everybody noticed that Marty has a tablet. I do want to know how many people on this call have a tablet, whether that's a, uh, an, I, uh, an iPad. Which tablet are you using, Marty? I use a Surface. So whether you're using a Surface, whatever your tablet is, do you have one, yes or no? 40% of you have voted. I do want to get a feel for where the mortgage coach audience is at. 
So Marty, let's go into your conversation. Now everybody, Marty has given us his PowerPoint, so part of his, his in-office experience is he's got his tablet up, he's got some slides, he's printed out some samples of Mortgage Coach. So Marty, if you could, let's, let's kind of start with the Rate Watch piece. Um, Anthony, if you could, when, when Marty is talking about Rate Watch, if you could pull out the app and just kind of, let's make this a combination of Marty explaining what he does and us making sure that everybody on the call knows how to do it. But let's, let's walk through some of your slides. Let's walk through when you pull out your mobile device and show them Rate Watch, you know, when you do that, how you do that. And um, let's do that for about 10 minutes, and then we'll transition into Edge and the total cost analysis. And let's really break down this borrower experience as a mortgage coach. And then, folks, we are going to try to have, you know, in the last 10 minutes of the call, we'll try to field some questions from the audience. So if you have questions for Marty, things that you want us to ask during this call, post those while Anthony and Marty are going through his borrower experience. Go ahead, Marty. Uh, so um, that's just the cover page. This, so I, I, it's important to point out, I print this out and I put it, I give it to the client uh, and I'm actually handwriting on it. I also have it on a 60 inch screen behind me. So for Digital, you know, just for the presence of it or for the professionalism, I have it on the screen behind me. But I'm actually writing notes on this, and I give them a copy of it. And we've talked earlier. I want them to have a tangible asset in their hand, a real mortgage strategy, a mortgage plan. Even though it's something we don't charge for, the fact that they walk away and they leave there with that makes it a big deal. So my first part of the presentation is this screen. and we all know guarantees are a big deal. We, it makes people feel better. I've read a lot of stuff from Darren Hardy, and you know, if you can guarantee somebody something, it makes them make decisions a lot easier. So we started thinking, what could we guarantee in the mortgage business? But as we highlighted earlier, the first thing is to understand where they're coming from. People come in and they, they want to know. They all have a question loaded and ready. So to, to kind of set them at ease, I always start out by saying, what are your biggest questions or concerns? What can I address for you? And I let them know up front, and I think this is a great script for people to use, is if I tell them that my job is to help them structure the loan in a way where it maximizes their savings, I tell them that my job is to manage the mortgage in a way where it makes this as simple as possible for them, and then I also tell them that if I do my job well today, that their expectation should be to walk out of this building and never think another thing about their mortgage. They should not worry about it any more beyond our meeting because I should be able to handle everything for them. And I want them to have that expectation because I want them to be able to take their mortgage and kind of put it in my hands. So I ask them what are their biggest questions, concerns, and I write those down. And then I ask them to please describe what excellent customer service means to them because that's a big deal. And then I'm not going to go over the 10 commitments but these are kind of the 10 guarantees that we came up with and there's blanks there so you can fill in whatever you want as far as your commitment goes but it's telling them that we will, our interest rate and closing costs will always be less than or equal to our loan disclosure um, we'll honor our approval letters, we'll never cause delays, things like that so the next slide is um, the rate thing that we just went over, loan level pricing adjustments and I just asked them to you know, do you know how I can get you the lowest rate? Do you understand what goes into that? Um, and it's just simply explaining that there's a lot of different things that factor into it. I find no one knows this. Now, it may, I'm in Kentucky, so it might be that we're a little slow, but my experience is that I, I don't know of one client I've ever met with who was aware of loan level pricing adjustments. I can also say that I don't know of any realtor that I've ever met with who was really aware of it other than maybe that it existed. So I walked through that with them, I asked them the questions. The next slide is, is uh, why and when do rates change? And I just simply show them that, you know, mortgage-backed securities are the only thing that causes rates to move. They can move fairly quickly and I show them some volatile pictures of the market and I help them understand that, you know, if they're looking to move in the next 60 days, that rates could go up a point and a half or go down a point and a half in that period of time and they need to be working with a professional who at least has an understanding of what causes them to move. 
most people in our industry, if you survey, not people on this call, but I think if you surveyed our industry as a whole, most loan officers would say the Fed is what causes mortgage rates to move. And although everybody on this call would laugh at that, I still think over 50% of loan officers nationwide would give us that answer. So if, at the bottom, there's another question. And you can see the questions throughout. How long do you think it'll be before you close? Would you recommend locking? Do you, th do you want the lowest rate today or the lowest rate when you close? They'll always say when you close. And of course, the truth is they want the lowest rate of any day. Uh, so now all that kind of leads to the big part of my presentation. And this is where I start to show them rate watch. So the next slide says, how can we save you money? I think it's an important question to ask because everybody wants to know how you can save them money. So then I show them on the next slide that, and I actually have a picture of it on the slide, and that's what prompts me to pull out my mobile device. And I show them on my mobile device. I could show them on the surface, but in this case, I want to show them on my mobile device because they know I've got it with me all the time. And I'll pull up the Rate Watch app on my mobile device and actually show them right there exactly where the market is. And I usually will show a 30-day window on there, and it just shows them how volatile it is. And I'll say, you know, if we went back over the last 30 days, you could see 30 days ago, rates were here. Today, they're here. And the point you'll notice is they've been both higher and lower. And almost in any 30-day window that you look at, that's the case. So in order for you to truly have a chance of getting the best rate, you have to work with someone who knows when and how rates move. Okay, and in this meeting, I'm meeting people prior to the purchase. We call this our pre-purchase consultation. So at this point, most of the time they have not found a home yet. So I'm showing them some different tools. And then Katie, our, our uh, business development director, will send out an email weekly that just kind of touches on that for them. And it's just a real basic email that kind of gives them the direction of rates. But every time that I'm able to show them Rate Watch and just see, they see that right there that I have it literally at my fingertips, I think it's such a powerful visual because I don't think anyone else is showing them this. You know, and if you just look at the, the slides on there, I can show them all kinds of different graphs and, and it puts me as the advisor and I'll show them an economic calendar that just shows how we're monitoring what's going up and I tell them about the uh, updates that we get via Rate Watch and the professional commentary. I'll even sometimes show them that depending on time. So, it, you know, they, they understand that I'm tied into a group of analysts and experts that really keep me on top of the market. Uh, and I use that as a very, you know, powerful point that this is how we can save you money. Um, and it's been great. And then the, the, the last slide is just an, an understanding of the difference between costs, closing costs, versus interest rate. And that's the one where I ask them, and it, you know, a lot of these questions are in my presentation to remind me not to forget. So I think everyone would agree that it's a great idea to ask the client, if we lowered your rate by a quarter of a percent, how much do you think it would lower your monthly payment? The reality of it is, is even if you think that's a great question, you'll remember about 60 or 70 percent of the time. So I put this in the presentation mainly as a reminder for me to ask those questions, which is also why we put the, the uh, question marks up there. I also have highlighted and uh, in bold there, how long do you plan on living in this home? So it enables me to show them the impact of paying a point on their rate and allows me to discuss if it makes sense or not based on how long they plan on staying in the home and based on the average amount of time. There's a, a great um, statistic that, or graph or whatever that I think everybody should look at and that's what servicing portfolios, the payoff period of servicing portfolios right now. I know in, in California, if I remember correctly, um, in 2014, all the loans written in 2014 are, are going to average being paid off within three years because rates dipped and home prices have increased. And so it's a good idea to know how long the average loan is being in service because that can help you advise your clients accordingly. And they're thinking a lot more long term usually than, 
than uh, the actual numbers. And that great that question at the bottom in red says, do you see why many or most banks advertise based on rate? And the point that you've made with that slide is that a lot of times they're trying to capture money up front because they know the, long is, the loan isn't going to be in service very long. And it really gives me a lot of credibility because it shows me as the person who's truly structuring the loan with respect to closing costs and rate based on them and their plans. And it almost makes the point for me that anyone who's already quoted them a rate or anything up front is structuring the loan on profit, not on the person or the, or the client and their needs. So that, that's the first part. That's kind of the first and section, second part of my presentation. First being the question and the, and the guarantees. The second being the market. And, uh, and then the third is just a, an interview that we do. And this is what leads us to the mortgage coach total cost analysis. So the next slide is just a down payment analysis and document review. We're just asking them, and a lot of times I've already filled this in from the application, you know, how much they have in emergency funds. I explain to them that after they make a down payment, we would like to leave at least three to six months worth of living expenses in this account because life happens and stuff breaks. We want to pay off any high cost debt. Obviously, you don't want to have $20,000 of credit card debt at 15% in lieu of a mortgage at 4%. So if there's money that needs to be allocated toward that instead of a down payment, we'll discuss it. We'll talk about long-term plans for savings for college, weddings, and then we'll talk about retirement. Um, I put questions in there. What are you contributing to, to retirement currently? Um, are you a great question? In your opinion, are you behind or ahead of schedule? Uh, that's a great question to ask. Ask them about how they had their W-4 set up, just so they know that they could take a, a higher deduction. This is a great tool for uh, referrals. We asked on a scale of one to ten, rate your realtor, property and casualty agent, life insurance. If they rate them a ten, that's someone I want to meet. They rate them less, then I have somebody I can introduce to them. So, um, but this really is what tells me what mortgage plan we're going to have. How much money they have to put down is irrelevant. What I want to know is how much money they have that they should put down. And then most of the time we've got just from the application, we're able to go ahead and fill out the total cost analysis. The reason I have it available on, on the screen is because we can put it together in a hurry and, uh, and, and show it to them. So this is a page that, that reminds me to go to my total cost analysis. As you can see, there's also spots for me to write in notes if I need to write them in, any questions that they have. This actually goes to them. So a lot of times I'll just simply put the total cost analysis, all four pages, in lieu of the page that you're seeing. Sometimes I'll write notes on it and include all of it, but that, that's what gets me to their uh, total cost analysis. Um, you know, we already know how much they should put down, whether it's 5% or 20% or 3.5% or whatever it is based on, on the assets that they have. Um, and then I really spend some time showing them um, the five-year plan based on how long they plan on staying in the home because it, I think it gives them a lot of, of relief. This is, that's just a, another cover page that shows fees and, and obviously the, there's three questions every client wants to walk away with. What's my rate? What's my payment? And how much do I have to bring to closing? Um, the total cost analysis does all that, plus it shows a whole lot more than that. Uh, depending on the case, I can compare it to one of the, one of the total cost analysis I, I, I sent up was comparing it to another lender. Um, another one was comparing monthly mortgage insurance, lender paid MI, and in Kentucky we can do an 80-15-5. So I'm able to show the client all the pros and cons of that. We're able to go over that in depth and, and, uh, and it's so simple the way it's laid out. I love the graphs because it really illustrates their savings and it's just a, a very professional yet very simple way of, of showing people what their, their plan or, and their total cost is. And then the last part is kind of leading the client. And that's where I ask the client how they feel. The, the answer that I'm looking for is 
I feel much better, I feel less stress, I feel great, whatever. Uh, we want to know how they feel and then we ask them a brief survey. If they answer yes to all of our survey questions, then we're going to ask them to refer us business. I always say if I did, if we answered your questions professionally, if we've met your expectations, if you feel less stressed, if we can save you, if we've shown you we can save you money and we've delivered on our commitments, I have two favors to ask of you. One is to call Jim or whoever referred you. I'll have their name and phone number already written in there. And then two would be to let your friends know that we are different than other lenders. You certainly, you know, can tell them, but I'll, I'll tell a story. A lot of times what we find is your friends right now don't know you're buying a house because you haven't told them all. And they may be buying one too. So if you'll just share it on Facebook or, or uh, social media, then they'll find out and then they can reach out to us. Here's an example of what people are saying and we'll show them some of that and go from there. So that's the, the, the you know, the bulk of the, the presentation. Obviously the total cost analysis part of it is kind of the center of it. That's what we're kind of driving everything to because that is their plan. There's a lead up and a, and a, and a uh, execution part at the end that, you know, is where we request referrals and everything. But the total cost analysis is definitely the center point in the, in the feature piece there. Excellent. Yeah, I want to just jump in here quick, Dave. Uh, you know, for me, Marty, being part of the mortgage coach team for five years now, getting a chance to really have someone like yourself is implementing it. Uh, I really want to uh, unpack some of that for all the members on this call because you've provided so much value and great content today. And remember, everybody, we are recording this call. Uh, you know, all these slides are available in the handout section, so take advantage of those. Uh, Marty was nice enough to show his PowerPoint for the group here. Well, Marty, one of the things I wanted to point out that you've obviously shown you do a great job of is providing value to your customers, providing value to your agents. And, you know, I was curious, as you went away from the, as you said, you, you lost the loan, you are upset with that, you wanted to go more into the advisor role and really start uh, doing what you're doing now. What would you say, you know, for anyone on the call today that's transitioning their business uh, to really get to that level, how long did it take you to really start implementing some of these practices, meeting face-to-face, -face, interviewing the client? You do such a great job of preemptively asking questions. I was just curious, how, how long did it take you to really feel like you, you got comfortable with this business flow? Well, you know, some of it I had been doing all along. You know, I think I, you know, the, the knowledge acquisition part of it is just over time. But, you know, what took me a, a, a little bit of, of time to do was to develop the presentation and think through, you know, I, I called up five of my top clients that I knew would shoot me straight. And I, uh, I invited them out to dinner and I asked them, you know, hey, what do we do good? What do we do bad? You know, what, what's important? What are we missing? Um, you know, I went, uh, I always have gone to a lot of seminars and things like that. So that part of it took some time and then putting the presentation together took some time. Um, but really the cool thing about it is, you know, if, if you have it, you can just plug and play. So one of the things that I talked about at Sales Mastery is the two things that I really touched on were customer service and my presentation. And now that you have it, you know, this is something that next week you can have implemented. Literally, it's something that anybody on the call can take and have implemented next week. Now, you know, we're always trying to improve it. You know, we've remodeled our office. We're, we're always trying to make the presentation better and the experience better for our consumers. But, uh, but you know, it's not anything that takes a long time to learn as long as you have the basic financial knowledge necessary to to give the advice and honestly that's not something that takes a long time to learn either and with mortgage coach it, it makes it you know a hundred times easier because what you don't have in the software itself you're going to have in these interviews so uh, it's not anything that's going to be a long learning curve for sure well that's excellent to hear I think everybody on this call should be excited about knowing Marty just said you could take you know, some of the the fundamentals he shares today and by next week, by the end of today, you're starting to implement some of these things. Again, going back to you preemptively asking questions that you come across in your sales process, we all know if you can enlighten someone rather than just tell them, you really are going to build great clients for life with that approach. And one of the presentations that Dave shared with me as we prepared for the call today was one where you're actually comparing three purchase options, which we know in a 6% purchase business, 
uh, for you, you obviously are, are going through a lot of different purchase scenarios, but I wanted you to just show this to the members here because obviously what Mortgage Coach does very well is compares scenarios. You know, someone might not do a lot of, uh, you know, VA business, but when they need to show scenarios, you know, Mortgage Coach can really go that direction. In this particular one, it looked like you had a buyer considering, you know, do they do the one loan with MI, do they go with lender paid MI, or do they do the 80-15 combo? So in your words, just, you know, what is it about a presentation like this that you think helps you uh, get a client educated to move forward with you? Yeah, well, you know, the slide that you just had up with the graphs is really about all that you need to show the client because it shows that, you know, it, it just breaks it down a lot easier than showing them, you know, I could pull up three different initial fees worksheets and show them, you know, here's option A with mortgage insurance and here's option B and here's option C, but ultimately option C, the 8015 had a lower monthly payment and had less money paid over time and as long as you can understand and, and explain the, the second mortgage piece to that, it makes it a really easy choice for the client. And another one, I didn't send one, but a lot of times a client's trying to determine whether they should put 3.5% down or 5%. And in my opinion, if, if a client has 5% to put down, they should do that because when I, when I do a total cost analysis of an FHA loan versus any of these three options, then the FHA loan looks pretty punitive because of the upfront MI, the monthly MI, and all that. And a lot of times we'll use that option on there as well. But you know, the great thing about this is, it, again, I, I've said it before, it's a, it's a very professional but also a very simple tool that I can show you know, that you're going to be paying less money over the next five years. You're going to be paying less money initially. And, you know, I've never seen anything that even comes close to showing a client their three options as well as that. Because, you know, a client will go, well, the, the bank showed me mortgage insurance. And I'll say, well, here's mortgage insurance. But if you look, you could just finance the mortgage insurance through what's called lender paid MI commonly. That's just where the bank gives you a higher rate. And instead of that, then the payment's this and interest is tax deductible, whereas mortgage insurance is and isn't, and then is again and isn't, who knows? So there's some advantages to that. And then there's this third option over here, which depending on your personal circumstances, how much at, you know, how much, a lot of times people may be selling a home and they just haven't sold it yet. So that 8015.5 is a phenomenal option for them because they may plan on selling the home within a year and then paying that equity line off or, you know, for any number of reasons, they may have access to cash, and therefore the equity line piece is not a huge risk of uh, the prime rate rising, and sometimes it is. So then sometimes you go back to the lender paid MI. So it's just a great tool to use to have that discussion and do so in a very professional manner, and also the way it illustrates it for the client to actually see it, I would equate that to asking them a question, you know, instead of having them and telling them when you're able to show them something, it um, it certainly helps. So saying with this, instead of just saying, well, golly, that saves you a hundred and thirty dollars a month, it's a lot easier than uh, you know, it's a lot easier to show them this. So uh, it's been a it's been a huge uh, huge asset for me for sure. Well, that's excellent. I hope everybody on the call really you know, listen to how Marty is using mortgage coaching. He's not trying to boil the ocean, obviously. And Marty, again, thanks for, for that contribution there, really breaking down those scenarios. Not trying to boil the ocean. Marty's going to focus on a couple key points of value that he knows are important relating to the scenarios he's showing. And again, with this uh, goal of helping the client understand something, they're not figuring it out on their own. He's bringing them to those things. And again, it's just going to create that deeper connection. You've done a great job of illustrating how you connect with consumers and your clients with Mortgage Coach. How do you feel that you, you would recommend anyone on this call using Mortgage Coach with realtors and, and positioning with realtors on, on how you would use it? Well, so when I meet with a realtor, I, um, I usually do kind of a, I call it a three-step approach. So the first time I meet with a realtor, I just, I want to have a conversation. I always tell people I have three goals. The first goal is to make a friend, second goal is to find a need, and then the third goal is to set an appointment. So I'm not coming out guns blazing 
when I meet with a realtor for the first time. The first thing I want to find out is, you know, is this somebody that I can work with, you know, long term? Is it somebody I like? And then I want to find out what their needs are. And then I schedule a meeting for them to come in my office because, again, I want them to see our presentation. I think it's our biggest asset. So when a realtor comes in to meet with me in that second meeting, I'm essentially walking them through a client presentation. I'm showing them the mortgage coach. I'm showing them rate watch because that that is our value to their consumer. Their, our value is that their client is going to get much better advice, have a much better process, save money by getting the right mortgage plan, um, and have a much more professional experience. Our value to the realtor is, A, we're going to provide that for their client, which is then going to lead to more referrals and more business and, and all that. We're going to make them look better, but this way they see it firsthand. So generally my goal in meeting with a realtor or meeting with a financial advisor or a CPA is to get them into the office so I can show them the tools that we're using, which are rate watch, mortgage coach, total cost analysis, and uh, that way they can see it firsthand. Um, plus it helps them promote it. If they've experienced it, it makes it a lot easier for them to promote it. One of the things Dave asked earlier is, you know, what scripting do we use to, to have realtors refer us? Um, I always like to start out by asking them that question. You know, hey, if I'm going to refer someone to you, what what would you like me to say? The main reason I ask that is it gives me insight as to what they're looking for, what type of person they are, and, and kind of gives me an idea of what they're going to say about me. But then what I want them to tell is that, um, you know, number one is I want you to explain to people that their mortgage is as personal to them as their fingerprint. So just like their medical plan or their medical procedures or whatever they would go through or their financial plan, their mortgage plan is going to be just as individualized to them as anything that they do, that a doctor would do, anything a financial would do. In fact, it's your financial fingerprint is what I call it. Um, I got that from one of my top realtors and I've, I've now stolen it, but I love that that phrase is, you know, you, your, your mortgage is as individualized to you as your, as your fingerprint. It's, in fact, it's your financial fingerprint. So, we want people to understand that, and that's what I want them to use is, you know, if you'll go talk to Marty, what he'll do is help you understand the mortgage process in a way to where you can make the best decisions for you and your family. And whether you choose to use them or not is totally irrelevant, but at this point, he's agreed to meet with all of my clients as a service to me, and I've never had a client that was disappointed with the time that they invested in learning about what mortgage products and services were available to them and what their best plan was. So that's really kind of what I'm looking at. And then when they come in, of course, we show them the, the presentation and, and rate watch and the tools that we're using. What what an awesome call, Marty. I mean, this call has not disappointed. The positive feedback is coming in through chat. Uh, I, I think I'm going to want to, if, if you're up for it, you know, sometime in Q1 of next year, interview you again. So if you do have questions for Marty, please post that so we can bring those into future calls with Marty. But I, I think what's so brilliant about your strategy, um, it's not easy to do what you do, but it's a pretty simple formula. You know, I even, I even love the way you said, hey, when I want to meet with a realtor, it's, it's, it's one, two, three. I want to make a friend, I want to find a need, and then I want to get an appointment where I bring them into my Coliseum. You know, a place where you have a controlled experience that's awesome. And I, I do want to remind every mortgage coach, because you know not everybody has an office that's a coliseum, not everybody has a mortgage practice where that works. Um, and by the way, not every customer is going to come in. Different markets support different models. Uh, but here's one thing for sure. If you're using mortgage coach properly, whether it's a pure online experience, I, I interviewed a loan officer from Churchill Mortgage yesterday where he, he showed people how he sends them a link and he literally builds out a total cost analysis while he's on the phone with the client. And, and I'm telling you, just like I can say with Marty, when a family connects with Marty, it's the Super Bowl. It's one of the best personal financial planning experiences they've ever had. So, so you can do that a lot of different ways. So, so Marty, um, I've, I've had a couple questions come in through chat saying that, hey, young people aren't going to come into your office or 
I, you know, I had people challenge Jen last week where they, they said, oh, you know, they're, they're too ADD and they're not going to go through your process. So if you could just speak to, you know, call it the millennials um, or the ADD client, um, what's, your, what's your take and do you modify your experience for millennials or folks that are, you know, incredibly ADD? Well, so I'm pretty strong on that, so I'm going to apologize if I offend anybody with the answer. Um, but so here's here's my take on that. That to me that'd be like saying um, I'm not going to go to the doctor or anything else. I mean we're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars and oftentimes millions of dollars over time with total payback. Um, so to say that you're not going to take the time to come in and make sure that you're getting it right is pretty irresponsible to me. So there are circumstances thanks to your software where, where I feel like I can do a professional job without a client coming in. But when I'm talking to a client on the phone and I say, you know, with technology today we are able to do this and I don't want to define customer service for you, so we are able to do this over the phone and over the internet. But given that we're talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars and oftentimes millions of dollars over time, I want you to know that I'm personally and professionally available to sit down with you to go over every step of the process to make sure we dot all of our I's and cross all of our T's primarily so we can A, make sure we save you as much money as possible and B, to make sure that we structure the mortgage in a way where this loan will go as smooth as possible so you can focus on important things about your life instead of your loan. And I don't get very much feedback from, oh no, you're right. I still don't want to come in or I'm too ADD after that script. I usually get, yeah, absolutely, this is very important, I definitely want to come in. And they may have said that they were too busy a minute earlier, but after that script, it, it, it works pretty well for me. And the reason so, I think it so, works pretty well is not because of the script. The reason I think it works pretty well is because they, they realize, wait a second, this is a big deal. I don't know why I was thinking that I could do this without making sure that I had a professional advisor handling it. Uh, and then the other thing is, is if all I'm doing is quoting rates and, and, and I don't care what method I'm using, but if all I'm doing is just saying here, here are some loan options, um, I don't feel like I've earned the right to, to have any pricing differential. In other words, if all I'm doing is showing them options in a different format or on a different spreadsheet or however, I don't think that that really sets me apart enough to where I can justify being more. Does that make sense? I, I want to make sure that, that the, the presentation is worth any kind of pricing differential that, that they might see, whether it's a quarter of a percent or an eighth or, or, or whatever it is, because I want them to understand that I'm a I'm a professional advisor. I, I love it. First of all, that was a, a powerful answer. I would love it if folks let us know what you thought of today's call on a scale of wow to good. If you are a visitor, a guest on today's call, and you want to schedule a demo to learn more, you know, check the last option. So let us know what you thought of today's call. I know personally I had high expectations. You, you knocked it out of the park, Marty. You, made, you, you gave us, first of all, a lot of great scripts. I mean, that, that script, and folks, this is recorded. This will be in our YouTube channel today. And I'd go back and listen to that one. Uh, I'm not even going to ask Marty to repeat it because it's recorded. And Marty repeated it twice in the call. But, you know, how he responds to someone who does not want to come into his process. So whether you have a process that you drive over the phone and online or whether you have a process that you drive in person, if a family does not want to come through that process, make sure you have a great, respectful, powerful, and that, that was a script that had an influence built into it that drives them. And then, of course, you know, when I've interviewed many of the top, the best of the best, you know, they don't build a process for everyone. You know, they build a process so that they can win and they can deliver strategic value. And, and they're not afraid to say no to certain realtors, and they're, and they're not afraid to fire realtors, and they're not, a feel, they're not afraid to lose some business and because they're so successful and they have such great processes, they actually can enforce their standards. They can not follow up with someone. It's the loan officers that are that you know don't have this consistent experience. They're not knocking out of the park. That you, you just feel like I gotta I gotta chase every deal I got. 
and I gotta I gotta compromise my standards of my practice um, for folks. So, anyways, Marty, fantastic call, and I'm gonna let you provide the final words of wisdom before I ask you to, to do that. I want to remind everybody every Wednesday tomorrow at nine or at eleven o'clock Pacific, we do mobile training. So that call has also been recorded, is in our YouTube channel. We do believe that the best mortgage professionals have a great digital experience. So here's Marty doing things old school in a small market, knee to knee. But you know what? He's got a mobile experience. He's got his surface out. He's pulling out his, his iPhone, driving a rate watch experience. If you're meeting with someone at a Starbucks, the best mortgage professionals are using digital technology, whether it's knee to knee in an office, wherever it is. So every Wednesday at 9 o'clock, we're teaching all the different ways to use Mortgage Coach Mobile. Uh, Marty, I do advise that you know, if you haven't checked that out, e either you or yourself might want to check that out on Wednesday or the recording. Um, so, so Marty, what are closing thoughts? Any last words of wisdom as we wrap up this call, knowing that you've got hundreds of mortgage coach professionals on the phone? Yeah, the, the only note that I had down is that, um, you know, at the end of the presentation, I just wanted to be clear that I, on the presentation, the last page, we actually put in the link so then, you know, they can go back and view that electronically and we give them a paper print out of it. So they have it as a tangible asset, but they, they actually can go and view it. Uh, in fact, I got a, a, an alert just now that one of my clients was viewing one while we were doing this call, which was pretty cool. Um, so I wanted to point that out. The only other thing I would just say is, you know, stand out. That That's the point is, um, you know, I used the, uh, the video of the, of the zebras in uh, the movie Madagascar, you know, as mortgage, as loan officers or realtors, we all look the same to consumers, and it's, we did it. It's our fault. We're the, you know, we don't do, we, we don't put ourselves in a position where we look different to a consumer because we're all trying to say and do the same things, and it's kind of like when we look for a company to work for. We always want the lowest rates and and all that, well, it's no wonder that our consumers do the same thing. So my point is, um, and what I would encourage everybody to do is, is stand out. And the good news is, is Dave and his team have developed a product that does about 75% of the work for you uh, because it, 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 it stands out on its own and makes you look more professional than certainly people who aren't using it. Uh, and do the other 25% to make sure you are providing more value. I want to be really clear. I'm not suggesting that you can charge more and do the same. My point is, is make sure that you're better than everyone else, and that's when that extra $300 a year or 25 or 25 basis points on rate doesn't matter because you're that much better than everyone else. So uh, that that's my parting thought. Well, it's a great parting thought, Anthony. Great job. Um, thank you for the leadership and co-hosting this. Uh, mortgage Coach members, we look forward to having you on another call. And Marty, I look forward to the next time that we bring you into the community to provide leadership and training. Absolutely. Take care, Let's my start. friend. Take care. Take care, everybody.